Hello my friends, I have a little Thrifty Thursday video for you. This is Sherry and welcome to my channel and my craft room. I um, wanted to share with you just, you know, I'm not, I keep saying, and I guess you maybe you've heard, but I'm not really, I'm trying not to do any uh, thrifting or buying of craft items right now just because I want to use what I have. And it's always good to save some money too, right? So, uh, what uh, I've been showing you are little things. Sometimes, uh, a couple times in the last few weeks, maybe a couple things from Timu, maybe. I, I don't remember. I know there was at least a few things from, you know, one Thrifty Thursday from Timu. And then um, the other things have been when I've gone by the thrift store really to donate something. And then I went inside and found a few things. So, yeah. You know how it is but anyway I have a few books to share with you today and these are from my husband and my son they work together and apparently they came upon a an auction in their travels <laughs> and uh, they stopped by to see what was going on my husband's a sucker for auctions and so anyway they found a few uh, tools they wanted of course they did, right? So anyway, they were uh, trying to wait around and bid on these tools. And they, I guess the tools finally came up. And the guy, I guess the price was pretty low. Because you know how if you've ever been to an auction, they'll sometimes keep throwing things into the bundle or whatever to get the price up. So they threw in this, uh, it was like a soft-sided little cubicle bin, you know, that you put in, you know, the, the cubicles. Anyway, it was full of books, these books right here, uh, videotape, no, not, yeah, video tapes like movies and, you know, CDs, DVDs, whatever, I should say DVDs, I guess, and uh, what else was in there? I can't think of what else was in there, but anyway, uh, I put the DVDs in the other room because we do have a DVD player for, Mostly for backup in case our ca I mean, we don't have cable in case our internet you know is down we can still watch a TV we can watch a movie uh, you know we can watch a DVD so anyway I put them in the other room to try out sometime when we feel like it see if they're any good and then I went through the books I put a few aside I think from my grandfather anyway where are they they. I guess I put them in the other room. I really, you know, I'm trying to keep my craft room cleaned up. So I guess I put them away, whatever. But anyway, these are the ones I'm going to keep here. And I'll try to figure. Maybe the ones for my granddaughter in this pile. And maybe there's a couple I wanted to get rid of that I felt like I wasn't going to, you know, want to use. And she wouldn't, my granddaughter wouldn't, uh, you know, really like me to read them or anyone to read them. Or, you know, I mean, I have a lot of books for her already. And my, my uh, son does too. My son... His wife have a lot of books for her, so, you know, it's not like, you know, how, how it is when they're little. They have so many toys and books and stuffed animals and all that. Oh, there was a stuffed animal in there. That's right. There was a little teddy bear, and she loves it. Uh, I, I threw the teddy bear. It looked new, but, you know, when you get something from like that from an auction, you don't know where it came from, where it's been. Threw it in the washer. Uh, threw it in the dryer. I was going to let it dry, um, like hang it up and let it dry. We have a clothesline. And I thought, let me put it through the dryer. That'll give it like some heat. And really, if there's anything inside, it'll kill it. <laughs> I'm a mom. You know, we think of these things, right? If you're a mom, you think about these things. You've got to kill all the germs, right? So through the washer, through the dryer. And now we're, um, I put it in with, with her toys that I have here at my house. Long story, I know. We're going to start looking at these in a second, but... Anyway, I put it with the toys, and she absolutely loved that teddy bear. And she just like, teddy bear, and she kissed it and hugged it. Oh, my goodness, so adorable, right? Okay, let's look at these books. Uh, I'm sorry to be so unprofessional <laughs> on my video here. But y'all are my friends, right? So, anyway, as you can see on top, I have a Little Mermaid book. It's a shape book, and this one... Uh, 199 no 2002 is the latest date so it is uh, it is actually uh, vintage and so some of these I thought I would just make ephemera out of like this one I thought it'd be fun to take this apart and maybe make some ephemera out of this so I'll do videos 
where if I say I'm going to make ephemera out of them, I will do that on video. That that's I think that's a lot of fun, and I think, I, I mean, I have done that for sure. I have done that before, and you all, I got, you know, good views on it, and you all seem to like it, so, you know, I enjoy it, so I think you do too. So that's one I thought I would make ephemera out of. Uh, and I could make a journal out of this cover too. Actually, I have done some this like uh, soft-sided uh, cardboard type, you know, card stock, I should say, cover. I have done a couple of journals out of these. So I bind them with my cinch, you know, the co metal coils, and they come out really cute. So, and this cover is in perfect shape. Shape. Look at it. It's in perfect shape. So yeah, I could actually do. Some ephemera and make a little make a little mermaid journal. So we'll see about that. Uh, next Winnie the Pooh. Now let's see, I wouldn't make a journal out of this because it's big. It's not my normal journal size, but it could be a cute glue book. You know, the glue books usually we make a little bigger. And I have made many a glue book before. I haven't made any recently. If you're new to my channel, you won't you will not have seen it. But back in the years of my channel, you will find some glue books. And in my mind, uh, glue books can be uh, glue books can be glue books or they can be journals. It's kind of like I make mine so they can be either or. And I think most of the people do. So but this could be that's what I was thinking when I saw this cover that it was really too big for my normal journal. And I do like make, like to make Franken pages, so this could be an adorable Winnie the Pooh covered uh, glue book. So, yes, I'm remembering what I was thinking when I was sorting through the books. There weren't this is all there was except for like three more, and the other three I didn't. I thought, well, I'm not going to do anything with these. She's not going to like reading them, so they're going to go to someone else. But I'm not, so oh, this is weird, I don't even see, there's the title page, but no date in this, but anyway, cute pages. So of course, when I do, if I do, when and if I do make a glue book, which I think I would like to, I really think I would like to, I've never made a Winnie the Pooh journal, to, to tell you the truth. And so I could use some of these pages and I could make some ephemera and make a glue book out of this one. I was thinking also I could, you know, I'd make a new spine, so if I, this is pretty hard, so I doubt it, if it was a softer cover, I would try to cut it down, since I'm making a new spine anyway, I'd try to cut it down, like say right there, and then it would be, it doesn't matter, because I'm not, probably not going to be able to do that, but, but still, seven and one quarter inches wide, no, it's seven and three quarter inches wide, wow, so just from here, from the white over, it's almost seven and three quarter inches wide, and the whole cover is actually nine inches wide. So that's pretty big, right? Nine by nine, actually. It's pretty much nine by nine. So that's Winnie the Pooh. And oh, is there a date on the back? 2000. So another vintage book. Okay. Next one Giggle, Giggle, Quack. This is a Chick fil A, apparently, a giveaway. Little. Uh, and a book, you know, with a cardstock cover. The little cover is in good shape. So I could make a little journal out of this. Look at all these little cute books that they gave out. I love this Halloween one uh, with a pumpkin and a cow on the front with a mask on. Click, click, boo. <laughs> is it click or cluck? Click, clack, boo. Click, clack, boo. That's adorable. Anyway, uh, so in here we have... Uh, picture, you know, illustrations that look like it would be good for a farm journal. So, again, I can make some ephemera out of this, these little smaller pages, and I could even make a little f miniature or mini farm journal out of this cover also. And I would use, I could, I mean, you could always attach this kind of cover to a hard, like if you have a little book or something and you want to make it into a journal. You could, you know, make a topper, a journal topper out of something like this uh, very easily if you, you know, wanted to. Or I can make it just with this cover and use my metal coils. So op we have options.
but this is only about five and one quarter inches wide by, believe it or not, it doesn't look that tall, but it's almost seven inches tall. It looks like it should be like five inches tall to me, but it's seven inches tall. There it is in black and in green and black. <laughs> I was going to say black and white, but uh, yeah, seven inches. So, but really cute illustrations. And oh, did I tell you the date? Did I see a date? I think I did see a date, but here's the uh, information. Uh, this is from. Uh, 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 no date. Well, they don't want to put the year for us, apparently. Not in numbers or Roman, numeral, Roman numerals. Nothing. 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 Okay. Okay. We gotcha. You don't want us to know what year it's from, I guess. Okay. That's all right. We like it anyway. We love it anyway. <laughs> Next one. So, uh, this is from a store also. This is from Belk. I guess, I don't know if Belk is a United States store or just like the southeast region of the United States, but if you have it, you know it's a very nice department store. Belk, usually. We have some, uh, we, ha we have one or had one. I don't know if it closed here or not, but we had one here in my small town in the mall that we used to have. That's pretty much closed down. It was pretty much closed down when I moved here 20 years ago. And there was just a few stores left in there. And Belk was one of them. But it was kind of like a... It was a really nice Belk outlet store. I would call it more of an outlet store. And then I don't know if it's... I think it's closed down now. If it's still there, I never go over there. I don't really shop that much offline. <laughs> it's just so weird. I don't shop offline. Which means going into stores anymore. That is funny because I used to love shopping. Uh, I used to I used to love shopping offline, <laughs> meaning in stores, but not so much anymore. But anyway, this is cute. I like, um, you know, it's kind of I don't know. It's kind of to me, it's kind of weird looking, like the Santa. But I think he's cute enough where I could like that bear is sad, so I wouldn't want to use him. And that's just a bear in a doorway. This bear looks mad. Um, this that's a cute picture of like a mom, maybe a mama and a baby. So there, whatever's cute in here is what I thought I would um, just make into ephemera. You know, like that Santa. And this picture is really cute here with the little bird in the nest. So I just thought I would, you know, salvage this book by using what I could. So it's about Belky, the um, named after the store, Belky the bear. But see that Santa doesn't look so happy there. He looks kind of worried. And this one's cute with the bear and the cookies. I don't know. So look, there's sad teddy bear. I wouldn't use that. <laughs> I could use, no, I probably wouldn't use any of that. But anyway, you get the idea. I'll just salvage what I can from this. This is a cute one. The bear is smiling. And this is cute with Mr. and Mrs. Claus here. Everybody looks happy there. So, yeah, I don't think I would... Um, I don't think I would... It's just not my favorite uh, picture. So I don't think I would even use this cover for... You know, I, you know, you got, I got to think of what I, I like, what you like, and you all out there in YouTube land and my friends and... Crafty friends and friends, YouTube friends, and I really don't think. I mean, I think it's cute enough, but I don't think I would make a journal out of it. So, next, moving on, the Berenstein Bears. Now, I know there's a lot of Berenstein Bears lovers out there. <laughs> I am not one of them, but I like. I'm not saying I don't. I don't like them. I I like them. I like the Berenstein Bears a lot. I think they're cute. And I like um, the moral of their stories and things like that. But I never got into it. My boys never got into it. And I think it was, I don't know, I think the Berenstein Bears came out a little after my, like, time when I was young and read these type of books. So it was kind of like a little after my time. And then my boys never got into it either. So I never really got into, I mean, I might have had, they might have had one book, but 
I never really got into Berenstein Bears, but I know a lot of people love Berenstein Bears, and I think they're super cute. And I, I know I the ones I've read, um, they always seem to have like a really good story or a good moral to the story, things like that. So, you know, I like if I like them for that reason. So, this one I'm not sure of. Uh, maybe you can let me know what you think. Should I? What should I do with it? Should I make a journal out of this? Would um, Would you want to purchase a Berenstein Bears Under the Sea <laughs> journal? You know, I don't know. You know, I don't want to make a journal that nobody's going to want, you know. So I have to think about that. But if I don't make anything out of this, I will certainly uh, read it to my granddaughter. And uh, one thing I did want to mention is this one. This is the only one, but this one had some water damage on some of the pages. If you can see this right up here, it's a little wrinkly. On See, that's all water damage there. So if I did make this into a journal, I would have to, you know, use the damaged pages and salvage what I could from them, cut them down, and make them into ephemera. But these are all what I would, what I call free books. They just threw them into the, the package that my, hus my husband and my son got of the tools they wanted. So, you know, they didn't want them, but they thought when they saw it, they're like, oh, let's give this to, let's give this to mom. <laughs> She'll want, mama want it. <laughs> so they did. But this is a really cute little Mickey book, but the cover is cushy. It's different. It's not like a, it's hard, but it's also cushy, which I think is really cute. But, and Mickey Mouse is really cute here too. It's got a sticker on here that would have to be covered up if I made it into a journal. But I have so many Mickey Mouse books that are so cool looking, like, you know, vintage Disney, stuff like that, that I probably wouldn't make a journal out of this. But I would like to, looks like a page was torn out here. And oh, this one's actually kind of the signatures. There's two signatures. Oh, there's another tear there. Yeah, I, I forget what I, I went through all of these, but I forget what I saw. There's quite a few here, but yeah, so these are a little, these signatures are a little loose and some of them are not all together, but these, these could be a very cute ephemera and for a Mickey Mouse journal. Could definitely make some ephemera out of these pages. Um, there's Mickey. This one. There's Mickey. Uh, this one's torn. That's cute there, Mickey. Goofy looks very happy. That would be a cute tag for a Mickey Mouse Disney Journal. Yes. So, yeah, definitely some great ephemera potential there. Uh, this one, Merry Christmas, Eloise. I think this is a really cute cover. This is discard in it, so I guess it came from a library. This one's really cute, though. I don't. I thought I might see if my granddaughter would like, like it if I read it to her, see what her reaction is to it. She's only three and a half. But she, um, it actually is putting, starting to put, uh, you know, she knows all her, she's, her, her parents have taught her all the letters and the sounds of the letters. And she actually has started putting the sounds together to, um, like read a word. So she can't like just sit down and read a book yet. But if you, if she sees it anyway, what I'm getting at is she likes to have books read to her at least, but look at this book. It's like, here's the page. And then it has a little flip here. I thought that was really cute. I was like, oh, that would be so fun to put these into a journal or or make something. I mean, it's kind of like we do, you know, we do or have done something like this, I'm sure. But anyway, just reminding me of like, well, that would be cool just to put a journal together and then add extra pages, you know, hinge in some extra pages on top of other pages. <laughs> you know, I mean, just like this book, everyone... Every page has an extra page. So you see it like this. And then like that. So I haven't read the story yet. But um, I might see how my, how my granddaughter likes flipping these pages. But anyway, I think, you know, once I read it to her, and if she's not like, oh, that's my favorite book, I might uh, see about putting some of these into... This, this is a Christmas story. So it could be used in a Christmas journal in some way. I think that would be fun. The, this part of it is if I were to cut it down, 
Where's my ruler? This part of it right here. I need to turn my fan on. It's getting very warm in here. Uh, six and a half inches. Uh, this part right here. So, yeah, I could, though, cut this down. Or I could even just use the single page. Like, either keep them together like this or use this these separately. But anyway... I think they're cute pages, and it would be fun to put these in a journal. Look at that Christmas tree. So, yep. This is from, let me see. Oh, they don't want, they don't want us to know either in this one. Oh, wait a minute, here it is. Uh, copyright 2006, so this one is not vintage. You probably already guessed that. And then the last one is probably... I don't know. Is it my favorite? I don't know. I think this one might be my favorite. <laughs> this is my style right here. <laughs> little farm journal. No, these little pages are my style. They're so cute, right? That's my style. And I like Richard Scary. And they great. And these would be great. These are great. These big Richard Scary books are great for ephemera. For you know, if you need a bigger page for a journal. And they have really cute illustrations, so you can't go wrong, really, with a Richard Scary book. So I was pleasantly surprised to see this in there. And it's in perfect shape. Well, the pages are in perfect shape, except that it's coming apart right here. So it's a good thing I got my hands on it to salvage it for something, instead of someone saying, oh, it's coming apart, let's throw it out, you know, type of thing. So, and this is probably, I would think this is vintage. It looks like it is. Let me see. Mosquito. 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 Um, 19. What? This is 1963. Right here. And down here, the Roman numerals say 19. 61. Oh, I wonder why this is 1963 and this is 1961. I'll show you right there. 1961. So anyway, very vintage. I mean, I knew it was vintage, but I just can't imagine that it's that old. But maybe that's why it's coming apart. <laughs> um, well, this says 1991 right here. Does that say 1991? 19... Oh, it does say 1991. I'm, I was getting my, my, the XC, that's 90. And then there's a one. Okay, it's a 1991, but it's still vintage. It's not from the 1960s, though. But it's still vintage. And um, it says, to baby Hughes from the, the, the Gons, the Gons, or something like that. Anyway, this was a, a baby gift for someone, which is really cool. All right, thanks for watching today. That's all I have. I wanted to share with you my Thrifty Thursday goodies that were free. Always nice to get free stuff, <laughs> especially if they're books, right? So thank you for watching today, and I'll see you in my next video. If you want to participate in Thrifty Thursday, it's my collab that I started. I'm the host, and so I welcome everyone to participate. Just use the hashtag Thrifty Thursday and link my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.